I have enough time to do what I need to do. And it oh, yeah. seems like that's not true. Like when you're caught up and busy, I don't have enough time to do every I what I need to do. But right. if we are, our center is our relationship with God and he made the, the day 24 hours long and, uh, right. And, and he has a plan for what needs yeah. to be accomplished this day. That's right. So if you're too busy, you're doing more than you need to do. Hey everybody and welcome to Epic Every Day. I'm Liz Ferricks and this is my husband Evan. Hello. And we're so glad that you're here today. Um, as you guys know, this week we're talking about busyness and how the CSCs relate to busyness because that's really one of the main reasons why we started this podcast. Yeah. To combat uh, the a beast. Fran- yes. yes. To combat the franticity. The franticness <laughs> of life in our culture. Um, kind of the idol, really. I mean, it's uh, like we were talking about yesterday, I think, how prideful we get when we're busier than the next guy. You know, I totally got less sleep than you last night. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm boasting. <laughs> but, but I got up earlier. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Psh. Anyway. <laughs> so... On Monday, we talked about being calm, and on Tuesday, we talked about being surrendered, and since today's Wednesday, we're going to talk about being centered, since that is the third at CSC. That's right. Um, So, I, when I think of being centered, I'm still, I don't know, since Tai Chi is a movie in meditation, it's real easy to, uh, to imagine what that feels like when, when I'm walking or something, and maybe if anybody if you have experience with that, but, you know, moving from your, the middle of your body behind your navel or even down into the floor. But, um, right. so, uh, so the thing about, I don't know, I, I guess I had this idea where centered doesn't mean still like yeah. a statue is centered, but they don't go anywhere, but we're, we're alive. <laughs> we're flesh and blood and uh, we're built to move. What were you going to? Oh, I was just, I was agreeing with you. I mean, yeah. last night in my Tai Chi class, um, that was one of the things that hit me, that balance is something that you, you're never, like, it's not something that you're like, yay, I'm balanced and mm-hmm. now I'm done. Like, you have go. to be balanced in this step and this step and uh-huh. this step. And if you miss a step and you get out of balance, you just get balanced in the next step. Like, right. it's not a big deal. And how, um, you know, being centered, I think is that way in a lot of ways too. Like you want to move out of the essence of who you are and involve your entire self. Mm -hmm. And you want to move. We don't want to get stuck. Right. Yeah, definitely. It's way too easy to be like, this is who I am. I'm not changing, you know, or just to be in a situation that isn't conducive to who you are. Mm -hmm. That's stifling part of who you are, you know? Yeah. Or it could be fear of, the unknown or uh even a certain kind of perfectionism where it's a little bit it's more perfect to just not even do it than to do it and do it wrong (laughs) oh yeah i struggle with that i mean that idea that like you have to do it right the first time so if you're going to make a mistake you better not do it at all yeah i me too um that actually happened to me at work today i was trying to answer my boss's question and i had to say i don't know but i'll check and that just felt like mm-hmm. I felt like I should know right now, yeah, uh, and just give it an answer right away, and I couldn't do that, and it felt really bad. Yeah, <laughs> that is a bad feeling. Yeah, but yeah, so being centered doesn't doesn't mean being stuck, but it also um, means moving out of the right place too. Right. Well, and your center is like the essence of who you are. Mm-hmm. So yeah, moving out of who you are. And then bringing that into the busyness. I think kind of as we've been talking about this, the CSCs and busyness, um, as you guys may have noticed, like the CSCs are kind of the antithesis of being busy, like that Uh, frantic rushing busyness, not the like calm moving from one thing to the next in a quick succession of things. Like that's totally different from the like, oh my gosh, I got to do this and I got to get this done and I'm going to do this thing and here's my 
15 million things on my to-do list, you know. And yeah. being centered is the same way. Like, you cannot be frantic and centered at the same time. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's... Right. I mean, just as in our... When we... In our physical lives, like, your, your center of balance is really... I mean, a few inches, really. Right. And then uh, and, and same in our spiritual life. We don't really have wiggle room in our our main sense of balance, which needs to be the scripture and Jesus Christ. Um, and it, and uh, neglecting that gets out of balance real quick. Oh yeah, definitely. <clears throat> yeah. It's, there's so many interesting word pictures with that. I mean, we've got a tree on our logo for that very reason. I mean, trees, yeah. uh, you know, but they fulfill their full potential by staying stuck in the ground. But they're such a symbol of power and uh, but they're also and flexible. They're always yeah. moving. Like they move with the wind. They don't, you know, and they try grow. to like hold the wind back or. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And they grow and they reproduce and they, you know, contribute to life and flourishing, support other organisms. And I think the main thing that I was thinking about was when you're centered, you actually have fewer things on your to-do list which was something that we kind of touched on yesterday with the sacred six stuff. Mm. Like, you know, if who you are, I guess I think about this a lot in the church. Um, our church is doing a spiritual gifts assessment right now. And I have always, well, not always, I would say since college, mm -hmm. believed that if you are not gifted for something and you're doing it anyway, I mean, there's a few exceptions to that, but for the most part, yeah, you're actually taking somebody else's spot. Yeah, they <clears throat> there's a good distinguishing a distinguishing characteristic in the class. <coughs> uh, the category was your spiritual gifting, so you know, be in that swim lane. But then there's also um, universal Christian responsibilities. Right. So yeah, our pastor talks about that. Like it's everybody's job to you know help out with childcare, random other things that just you know, help with well, the running of the church yeah. and, and then, you know, everybody's job to share the gospel, mm -hmm. everybody's job to pray, mm -hmm. you know. You're right. Yeah. But. Like, just because you have a spiritual gift of prayer doesn't mean, or if you don't have it, it doesn't mean like, oh, I'm off the hook. I don't need to pray. <laughs> yeah. How are you connecting that to centered though? Oh, just if you... If you are doing the things that are a part of who you are, that come out of the essence of who you are, first of all, there are going to be things that you actually like doing, like that you're passionate about, that you care about, yeah. which means that they're way less exhausting. Like, There's more power. Yeah. <clears throat> right. I mean, just the difference between the stuff that I used to do, like when I was a paralegal, I was like dragging through my day, you know, and get to the end of the day and you're just trashed, used all your energy doing something that I hated, you yeah. know, versus being able to do this or, you know, being an author. Like those are things that are just so fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are a lot of work and there are days when I'm like, I just want to rip my hair out. Yeah. And you don't have that. Yeah. Even though you're gifted in something doesn't mean you don't have to refine the skill or oh, practice. Right. Or, totally. Or, yeah. I mean, my, one of my top ones was music, and yeah, I've been playing more lately, but when I wasn't before, you know, like last year, mm -hmm. versus now when I play almost a couple times a week, uh, it's there's a difference right. doing it, you know, consistently versus um, not doing it at all, and then expecting to just come in and still, Be awesome still uh, it. do it, yeah. Yeah, hang on to your chops. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I think when you, when we talk about being busy, like at least for me, I think about having a lot of things to do. So I'm always rushing. Yeah. And so and not enough time. Right. And not enough time. So being able to say like, okay, well, maybe we need to cut some of these things out because these aren't the things that are life giving to me. I mean, there's some things, like I said, there are things that everybody has to do. Like nobody yeah. can skip buying groceries, you yeah, know, you have to eat and sleep. Yeah. Right. Nobody can be like, eh, forget the house cleaning. I mean, you could pay somebody to clean, but some of us Still, don't have it's that gonna luxury. Take somebody's time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The, uh, the idea I think that was huge to us, I think we, it dawned on us a couple of years ago, was that 
I have enough time to do what I need to do. And it oh, yeah. seems like that's not true. Like when you're caught up and busy, I don't have enough time to do every I what I need to do. But right. if we our our center is our relationship with God and he made the, the day 24 hours long and uh Right, and, and he has a plan for what needs yeah. to be accomplished to this day. That's right. So if you're too busy, you're doing more than you need to do. Right. And you're not even getting what you need to do done probably. Yeah. I mean, and it's amazing what cutting some things out and using a little bit of hyper focus on what's appropriate. I mean, you're still going to be, your day's still going to be full. I mean, I mean, unless you're meditating and really just doing nothing, but then you're still working. I right. mean, so every minute is going to have, be full of something. Right. Well, and Minus. even having scheduled downtime, yeah. like that was revolutionary to me to be like, downtime is just as important as uptime, you mm-hmm. know, doing stuff. Yeah, and what was that productivity thing we just listened to where the guy was like, um, your, oh, it was a TED Talk, I think, a TEDx talk, where mm-hmm. you're, produ- you're, pro- you're just as productive. Like if, if the thing on your list to do today is to read a book on the beach and you do it, A plus, you're productive. Right. Versus go uh, make a million dollar deal in a boardroom. I mean, if that was on your list to do today. You... Right. Being productive is doing what you plan to do, yes. not. Yeah doing a million things and somebody yep and and you're the only one who knows if you're doing <laughs> right i mean you've got to yeah schedule a vacation but then hit your work hard too and be successful there right yeah it's it's hard it is really hard and it's so easy to get caught up in what feels like it's so important now the the tyranny of the urgent yeah you know i know i think that's going to come up a lot on this show because it's just there. It's there, yeah. All the time. Uh-huh. Yep. The uh, the Bible verse I thought of was Colossians 2, 6, and 7. I'll read it out of this. Um, this is the uh, New Schofield Reference Bible. I really like the ISV, but I don't have it. What? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. So, um, Oh boy, this is even old English. So here we go. <laughs> As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding with thanksgiving. Uh, there's some other couple different translations for the end of that verse there. Um, that one says abounding in thanksgiving. A couple other ones say um, uh, producing fruit. So... Hmm. Oh, were you going to look at a different one? Yes, I'm going to pull out a different translation. Yeah, no, so like, sorry, mm-hmm. I didn't read that ahead of time. That's okay. But maybe we can, uh, in the description or something, we can put it on there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so abounding in fruit. Where were you going with this? Well, just that, that being being rooted, I mean, it's back to the tree illustration, but moving from our center produces fruit. Right. Uh, we think that being busy is going to produce fruit, and it actually doesn't. So that was the contrast there. Um, that's a really good point. Be, yeah. Cause yeah, be more successful <laughs> Yeah, actually moving from your, your center. Yeah. Uh, in, in your spiritual life and in your physical life. I mean, you get less injured if you can walk and move around and, you know, manage your children or cook or whatever. And you're actually balanced and centered. You feel less likely to fall over or stub your toe or something. So, right. Yeah. That is pretty amazing. And it's in, it, it's actually, uh, it makes sense because it's kind of the way we're designed to be. We're designed to be in a relationship with God. I mean, we're designed to have a body that's aligned and balanced and connected to the earth a certain way because this is our home. We're right. made to live here. Mm-hmm. Um, those are the kind of big picture things that help me be like, oh, yeah, my center. Right. Got it. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. What about you? What helps you stay centered when you feel like you're getting off balance? Well, I think, like I said, the big thing, going back to who am I and starting from that point, what's important to me? What has God put on my heart? How do I move out of that? And then, you know, recognizing when I make things on my to-do list, like I said yesterday, Uh being able to say, this is why I'm doing this. This is connected back to this other thing that I'm passionate about. You said you're going to take something off your list that's been on there for years. Mm Mm-hmm. And that's getting closer to center right there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that is, that's been one of the most helpful things for yeah. me in terms of what is centered. Yeah. 
and I think this idea of you don't just figure it out one day and then you're good to go. Like it's, we need to be examining ourselves in prayer uh, and asking for wisdom all the time because we're going to grow and change. Our life situation is going to change whether you, maybe you get married, maybe you have children, maybe your children move out, maybe your spouse dies or you get divorced. I mean, these are things that change where our center is and God is, there's still a center there to be on. Right. When as long as we're being intentional, I really think that's where the rushing comes from. When you lose that intentionality yeah. and you're just like, okay, I just got to do the thing for the sake of the thing instead of connecting it back to, I'm doing this on purpose and here's why. Yeah. So, yep. yeah. Final thoughts? I think that's it. All right. So. Well, in the future, I'll try to have a better, uh, well, not a better. I love this Bible, but reading it out loud <laughs> was uh, a little goofy. Work so, so uh, and, you know, we could talk about Bible translations someday. There's lots of, lots of good options out there. Okay. Chuck Messer says the most important Bible translation is the one you use. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, as always, if you guys want to get a hold of us, you know, hit us up on our Facebook page. We'd love to hear how the CSCs are working for you guys. And you can message us on Twitter. Evan's handle is at a kind of lying. And Liz's is Eliz Frericks. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Questions, comments, whatever. Suggestions of topics. Yeah, that's right. So thanks for listening. All right, we're praying for you guys. We'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye.